Hey Talon, Carter here at Macklin Ford. Hey, shooting you a video of this 2022 F350 XLT. Uh, we are talking about a sport pack, so it's a pretty sharp looking truck. In addition to that, we also have our blackout pack on here. So that's gonna give us this beautiful black air dam in the front. You have your blacked out Ford badging here. You also have your blacked out rims. So it's a really, really sharp looking package. Even getting into a little bit further, stuff like the FX4 off-road package where you normally have red on here is even blacked out. So it looks really, really sharp. Speaking of which, I know you're gonna be out in some remote areas there. You do have an upgraded front strut and skid plates on everything kind of vital underneath there, which is brilliant. So you can take this off-roading if ever need be. With that sport pack, you have your painted to match front bumper, rear bumper, and door handles. So it looks pretty slick. You're gonna have all of the safety stuff that you need there for backing up. You have your rear sensors. You even have your hitch hook up here, seven and four pin just above so you can hook up your trailers as such plenty of bed space we are talking about a crew cab with the six and three quarter bed so you have plenty of room yeah i do have the blind spot detection and that's actually where the uh, little radar is located nowadays because it just doesn't pick up as much dirt it's a little bit more uh, functional it tends to work quite well um yeah 6.7 liter diesel engine i know that was a big thing for you so yeah, one of the most trusted, obviously, Super Duties in the market. We, I think we have like something like 64% of the, the heavy duty market. So, and it's not because, uh, yeah, we make a bad truck. Leather, so we've added leather into this. Um, and we also added heated seats. So you have your two levels of heated seats and then your cat skin leather. Uh, makes for a, a nicely upgraded interior. I'm just gonna jump in here. Sorry if the uh, video is a little bit shaky. Obviously, I have it started up right now but you have all your nice kind of options on the steering wheel. You're gonna have your hands-free calling, your voice control, so that's with the new Sync 4 system. Uh, you'll be able to uh, kind of use that and you know make your calls and stuff while you're driving on the road, busy guy. You have all your cruise control settings here on the left, volume control, all that stuff. Now, you also have nowadays your drive mode, so you have normal, your tow mode, eco, slippery, in deep snow slash sand um, that's kind of working with your transmission mapping uh, your throttle uh, sensitivity the feathering of the throttle all that kind of stuff that's basically working so that the truck feels different when you're in those different kind of terrains and different environments and situations um, so it works quite well it changes it uh, on the fly and uh, it's super invaluable when you're kind of out uh, in those remote areas to have that at your disposal you also can control it just by yourself two two high four high and four low and then you even have a locking rear diff uh, if you ever get into a really sticky situation um trailer brake controller if you're ever towing and then all of this stuff is uh, pretty standard you do have your jake brake here or your exhaust brake controller whatever you want to call it um all your different climate control hazards usual stuff there some charging you do have a 110 and a 12 volt there some storage up top some storage down below all your cup holders and then i'm not sure if you're going to be hooking up some external lights or anything like that but you do have your auxiliary switches so everything's going to be cleaned up there for you and i can get you the wiring schematic that uh, kind of helps you figure out where you need to wire stuff in but killer truck and it only has 5800 kilometers on it so I mean, it's uh, it's pretty well brand spanking new. We just did a full detail on it and it's ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna fire this off and uh, yeah, let me know what you think and we'll go from there. Thanks, man. Bye-bye.